Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Masai School. Uh, we are a 21st century career focused coding school. Uh, my name is Aman Vats. I'm an engineering graduate from Birla Institute of Technology, Misra. Uh, I lead the data structures and algorithm curriculum at Masai School. So uh, let me tell you about this video series. <coughs> uh, in this video series, we'll be introduced to uh, computer programming. Uh, you will learn how to write basic computer programs. You will learn the basic constructs of a computer program. That is uh, data types of variables, conditional statement, loops, functions, everything. And you will be learning this in Python. All right. So <clears throat> this is a very fundamental uh, uh, video to, you know, getting started with computer programming in Python. And uh, this video series is actually a part of the pre-course uh, for the full stack developer program at Mass High School. And now we have decided to, you know, make this course available for all aspiring programmers. So we really hope that it helps you in getting started with computer programming and in Python. So happy coding. Thank you so much. Yeah, guys, welcome back. Uh, so as discussed uh, in the last part, we know that every computer program has to do a few things. It has to take the input, it has to do the processing, and then it has to produce some results, all right, the output. So let's start to, I mean, let's start this course with the, uh, with the third part, as in how do you print something? How do you output something uh, using Python? Okay. So essentially, we will have a logic in place that takes an input and, and works on that input and then produces output. But let's for the time to understand uh, how to output something. Uh, let's for that seek and understand how to how to print something to in, using Python. So the way we do it is we write the keyword print and then under brackets and then quotes, you just write whatever you want to print. So suppose I want to write inside so okay so basically the point is i mean this print statement allows you to print whatever written within the brackets to the uh, to the console so let's try to look at um, how to run a python uh, program because this one does not make sense all right i mean just writing the code does not make sense we need our computer to process that logic and and work accordingly okay so uh, second part of this segment let's look at how do we make a python program run all right so first of all you need to save it so uh, if you can see as as in the last section we are using visual studio for writing our codes okay so we have just written uh, a, a print statement now based on that Let's try to run this program. So how do you run, run this program? There are two ways through which you can run a Python program. So the first one is you open command prompt or let's say in this Visual Studio, you can go to view and you can run the command prompt from here. It says terminal. So you can run the terminal from here. Now you go to the location where this file has been kept. So suppose you are in the root and currently my file has a name pre underscore course and it is placed inside the desktop folder so you go to the desktop folder okay you go to the desktop folder and then what you do is you type in python space name of the program that you want the the processor to compile and produce results so pre underscore course as it is the name of the file i'm trying to compile pre underscore course Fine. and you hit enter and it will uh, do exactly what you suggested it to do all right so let's play around with it let's let's write some more statement print pre-course of high school let's try to print this as well so again all we need to do is go to the same terminal and python followed by the name of the program with the correct extension python program such dot py extension dot py so with the correct extension, hit enter, and you will see the result of the above program compiler. Okay, this is the first way. You could have also done it using the command prompt. So what you can do is you can go to the command prompt or the terminal. There are different names for this. And again, uh, it's you should go to the, the location where your file is kept. So it's kept in desktop. So go to desktop, then Python space p course not by hit enter and it does that thing all right there is one more way through which you can run your python programs and how you do it let's look at that 
So again, uh, let's go to uh, terminal and when you when you just type Python, it starts a console for you. Okay, it starts a console for you, and you can give whatever command you want it to follow. Okay, so basically in this in this particular in this particular way of compiling your program, your as soon you hit the enter, your program gets compiled. So print uh, say Python is good. All right. So let's see what it does. Yeah, it did print that. Okay, so after I mean each line gets compiled when you hit enter. So there are two ways in which you you can compile uh, execute a Python program. So the first one is uh, through directly using directly through terminal using Python keyword followed by name of the program. And the second one is uh, just pressing I mean typing Python and pressing enter. It opens up a console for you. There you can type your code and get it executed. All right, so we look two things in this particular segment. We looked at how do you print something in Python because obviously outputting something is an essential part of your program. And second thing, how to compile the program. Uh, see you in the next part.